Do not underestimate just how much money car companies make off accessories, especially for trucks and performance vehicles. The profit margins on a crate motor are fantastic, and thus organizations like Mopar head to Sin City each year to show off what's new at SEMA. They'll still show off gas-powered trucks, but they're starting to mix in their upcoming electric power, too. Let's take a look. Mopar will display their Power Couple, cute name, maybe too cute, the all-electric Ram 1500 Rev and a Dodge Charger Daytona SRT Banshee concept, both in matching blue metallic. The star of the show, however, will be this 1967 Plymouth GTX Resto Mod, reimagined as a battery electric. Mopar appears to be testing the water for a future E-Crate motor to be offered, just like Ford and GM Performance Parts has, so let's check it out. What I get to do is talk about this beautiful marriage between classic Mopar heritage and future technologies. And what we have under the hood here is a 250 kilowatt electric motor system which is actually the same motor system in our production Stellantis vehicles. It's attached to a 73 kilowatt hour battery and it's a total of a 400 volt system. And what we've done here is introduce this in a classic vehicle but allow you to still have that rear wheel drive setup. And basically what we needed to do is take a, a motor system set up for east-west configuration, rotate it 90 degrees, and then set it up so there's minimal tear up to the vehicle itself. I am Matt Hilburn, design manager of Mopar, and behind me here is our 1967 Plymouth GTX Electromod concept. This is our take at a zero emission classic muscle car. And some of the first things you'll notice is the frostbite blue paint uh, with the black accented stripes and some little vintage bronze details here or there. This car features a full custom carbon fiber hood, inner and outer. We've uh, tucked the bumpers a little bit to make everything a little more streamlined, custom headlamps and a custom carbon fiber front splitter. Moving down the car a little bit, you'll see our custom 18 inch wheels. Those are also done in vintage bronze. We have a full custom interior here. Unique seats, we built a full custom center console with cup holders, because obviously that's important. Custom steering wheel, radio delete, kept it very user centric on the interior of this car. Fans of the 1967 GTX will probably notice we've modified the rear wheel arch. The factory car clips the wheel a little bit, so we opened that up to make it a little bit more uh, sporty looking. Moving around to the back of the car, we have a custom carbon fiber rear spoiler. We have a custom deck lid panel and modified rear tail lamp bezels. We've tucked and smoothed the rear bumper to match what's going on at the front. We've replaced the fuel filler door with a nice custom charge port door that resembles some of the uh, flip top caps of old Mopars. And those are just some of the cool design details on our 67 Plymouth GTX Electromod concept. <laughs> 